Greetings viewers, this is CP666 signing on to make a video about the T61. Before I get into the subject, you can see, well maybe not, maybe if I get it into the right angle of light, but there's a difference with this trackpad. There's a bump in the middle of it, and as you can see it is clearly not at all secure. Uh, I don't know where I put the original trackpad, I don't even know if I brought it home with me, but the original trackpad died yesterday, just out of the blue. I don't know what happened, but it died. Uh, and this one doesn't work either. I've tried replacing the cable, I've tried everything. So I, the only explanation that I have for it is that this computer wants to retire without being stressed any further, but if it thinks that a broken trackpad is going to hasten its retirement, well, <laughs> it can think again. Uh, I'm going to use it until it drops, basically. I don't care, because using the track point right here is kind of annoying, but it isn't a showstopper. I don't know when a replacement's going to come along, but I'm not looking for one. At least not very actively. But that isn't the point of the video. The point of the video is an upgrade. I'm going to be upgrading to Windows 8.1, and we're going to see how all this works. Oh, there we go. Update to Windows 8.1 for free. Sure, why not? Well, that took over half an hour, but it's finally downloaded it, and it's now getting the computer and the update ready. Um, so, I don't know how long this is actually going to take, but it's not, not the fastest thing in the world. Uh, then again, I suppose that when you're installing Windows, you don't have to wait for it to download stuff, but... With this, you have to wait for it to download, and it's a 2.8 gigabyte download. Installation has commenced. I don't know if you can really see it on camera, but that bar is actually green. Although I suppose anybody who's used this before probably already knows that. And now it's gathering information. Probably information that it will use to notify Microsoft as to where this computer is located, and thus they will be allowed to track me down and kill me while I am asleep. And we get the message that we should see when your PC needs to restart, so let's do that. But hopefully this is going to go well. You can see we get the slow fade in, and we are now setting up 2% complete in that regard. And we get the slower moving little icon thing. Well, it rebooted, so it must be getting closer to the finish line now. Uh, hopefully it's actually going to have gone well enough that I won't be doing any serious recovery, at least not for the near future. Let me get the boot splash. So at least that much is still working. What's it doing? Again, we get the much slower little thing there. Maybe it will actually find my trackpad. Or this trackpad. That would be hilarious if it finds this trackpad and installs it. <laughs> oh, that would be a kick in the pants. Of Windows 8. Or of Lenovo, actually, would be more specific, because it's probably their driver that's screwed up. But right now, it's getting devices ready. Taking forever in the process, but that is to be expected, I guess. Come back with all that. Oh, well, maybe not. Maybe I'll just keep recording. Now you have the proper resolution. Oh, my. It's looking stunning already. Nice and clear, nice and... In any event... I'm 
don't know why that blue seems to just mess with that cam with the camera. It's still getting ready. I don't know what it's getting ready to do. I wonder if it's getting ready to take off and explode in my face. Hopefully it's not getting ready to do that. But if it does, I'll have something really cool to uh, put up on YouTube if I actually survive. Uh, people love to see things exploding, apparently. Now it's applying PC settings, and unfortunately for you guys, the viewing audience, unfortunately for me, it didn't explode, so... I'm still here, my face is still intact, my camera is still intact, all the footage is still intact, and you will get to see this video without any flames. At least not yet, I can't guarantee that, though. There might be fire at some point in this video because I might just decide to put, I don't know, some random explosion in, like right now or something like that. Uh, oh, it's only at 25. To the camera, it looked for a second, it looked like it was at like 30 something percent, but whatever. Alright, so it just got rid of the icon, or at least the boot splash. Uh, the hard drive is writing. Constantly, and it's rebooting. Alright, we are now booting, which is a good thing. Maybe we're not booting. Ah, I think we're booting. Don't know what it's getting ready to do. Probably getting ready to finish off the last little bits and pieces of setup. Which I don't know how long that's going to take. Or we could just sit here at a blank screen. You never know. Nope, here we go. It's definitely doing something. We now have the slow icon again. Setting up a few more things. Nice. I think somebody that day when this was being coded had a little bit of fun. Or was a little bit on the happy side, which is never a good thing. Or never a... Uh, wow. Never a bad thing. Did not mean to say it that way, but... It's, usually it's a good thing. It's not a bad thing at all. It's good to be happy when you're writing code because it means you're not going to be frustrated and you're not going to take your frustrations out on every single end user who's going to be using your pro your program or your operating system or your whatever software tool. Because I've seen that before where people get frustrated and then they go up, go up with the mentality that if it was hard to program it is going to be hard to use. Which is something that you find very commonly in the Linux world. Unfortunately. It's taken a long time to set up a few more things. I wonder how many a few is to Microsoft. Because it seems like there's more than just a few things being set up here. Alright, she has some pick up and go here. Getting ready! Once again, is it getting ready to take off and explode in my face? I don't know. Let's find out. I don't know why this is like this. Um... My only guess is that there's probably some kind of, like, a tab or something that's broken on it, but whatever. I want to customize it. Eh. Uh, yeah, I'll leave it like that. Actually, just the important ones. Nah, why don't we do it for automatically install everything? Automatically do this, automatically do that. Smart screen, sure. Yes, I do want to send a do not track. Nope, don't, oh crap, I don't want to send data to Microsoft. Don't send that, don't send that, I don't want anything to do with sending data to anything. Nope. 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 Oh, sure, why not? Get better protection from malware, that's always nice. Next, you'll set up your account. Well, I already have an account. Free account security code. I guess you can't really see this. Next. Hopefully that was valid. SkyDrive, turn all of that off, because I don't want any SkyDrive integration. 
whatsoever. SkyDrive is terrible, to be brutally honest about it. And we have another blank screen. Hi. Maybe it's not a blank screen. We're setting things up for you. Well, thank you for telling me. You can get new apps from the store. Well, where else am I going to get them from? At least Metro apps. I don't really care about Metro apps. I'll never get any of them. Metro sucks, to put it bluntly. Oh, I got some free music. Nice. Just love it when you sign up for a mailing list and you get free stuff out of it. It's really great. In any event, the fan just ramped up. Taking care of a few things. Well, define few. The last time you said few, it took almost 10 minutes. Well, I do know it kept the sounds all the same because it just eeped at me. I don't know why, because I didn't push a button, but, well, whatever. I suppose. I really wish the trackpad worked, because the trackpad, for me, is my preferred pointing device, but I suppose if I really have to, I don't remember where I put it, but I have a, I have an optical mouse that I can use. No problem, it's not where I put it. Oh, it's right here, in front of my face. Oh, look at that. It has now started up to the desktop. Anyway, I suppose that's pretty much it. One more thing before I leave that I just noticed now is, well, I just really found out about now, is this. It tells you all that which you can do. Which is okay, I guess. I have Sound Recorder open, which is a new application. You don't really need that. And it goes right back to the desktop, which is exactly what it's supposed to do. Nice. My camera's complaining that it's running out of batteries, so I'm going to cut this short right now. All in all, it took maybe about two hours to update it to Windows 8.1, which isn't that bad. Thank you for watching. If you have any comments, feel free to leave them down below. And no, I am not going to be making a video about how much Windows 8.1 sucks. If you want to see my thoughts about Windows 8, go ahead and take a look at the page on my website, of which there is a link in the description. Um, if you can leave comments down below, you should leave them below. I should have said that before, but there you have it. This is CP666 signing off. I hope to see you next time. Till then.